the Great War, a bloody four-year-long battle that raged across Western Europe from 1914 to 1918. All along the Western Front, trench warfare was fought on a daily basis. But this film focuses on a smaller story, the story of an underdog division who challenged their reputation to win one of the most successful Allied victories of the war. The forgotten heroes of the 46th Midlands Division. The 46th North Midlands Division fought throughout the whole of the First World War, made up from battalions from the Staffordshire, Lincoln and Leicester, and Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire regiments. Their war was an interesting one. They fought on the Western Front for the entirety of the war and suffered multiple failures throughout. During the 1st of July 1916, the opening day of the Battle of the Somme, the 46th Midlands Division was part of a diversionary attack at Gom Court. The battle went terribly, with the 46th Division losing over 2,000 men. This catastrophic failure led to the division having one of the worst reputations on the Western Front. The division's poor reputation, after the harrowing failure of the Somme, stuck with them until nearly the end of the war. The 29th of September, 1918, would change all of that. The war in Europe had been storming on for over four years. During the summer of 1918, the Allied forces began a series of offensives against the Central Powers that became known as the Hundred Days Offensive. Due to the terrible reputation of the 46th Midlands Division, those in charge did not deem them worthy of any important objectives during the Hundred Days Offensive they were given the objective of breaking the Hindenburg Line. This would take place at St. Quentin and would involve crossing the St. Quentin Canal at Reckerville. There was little expectation of success. However, when the day of the battle arrived, the soldiers of the 46th Midlands Division were more than ready. On the 29th of September 1918, at 5.50am, the 46th Midlands Division began the attack on the German defences at St. Quentin. In a series of waves, the 137th Staffordshire Brigade took the leading role, storming through three defence lines and taking over 2,000 prisoners in the first 45 minutes. By 6.30 a.m. they had smashed through the German defences and advanced over a mile. By the end of the attack, the 46th had achieved all their objectives. Within two months of the victory at St. Quentin, the war was ended with an armistice being signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. It had been a bloody and hard war for all, but for the 46th, it had also been a battle to prove their reputation wrong. After four years of fighting and death, the war had finally come to a close. For the forgotten heroes of the 46th North Midlands Division, they had ended their war with bravery and pride.
Lost its meaning. 